After keeping the country waiting for hours, opposition chief Raila Odinga and his co-principals Kalonzo Musioka, Moses Wetangula and Musalia Mudavadi made their way to the Supreme Court registry to challenge President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election as declared by IBC last Friday in the voluminous affidavit accompanied by thousands of pages of exhibits. The NASA team wants the seven-judge Supreme Court bench, headed by Chief Justice David Maraga, to nullify IEBC's declaration of Kenyatta as president-elect, citing what he claims was gross mishandling of the presidential poll and results transmission. Odinga claims in his affidavit that Kenyatta was awarded illegal votes and thousands of votes cast in his favor taken away, denying him what he believes was an outright win against the incumbent. The 25,000-page petition filed by a battery of 25 lawyers, led by senior counsel James Orengo, claims the general election held 11 days ago was a sham and a violation of the electorate's rights to elect leaders of their choice. Odinga wants the Supreme Court to overturn IABC's declaration that Kenyatta garnered 8.2 million votes against the 6.7 million votes and order a fresh presidential race. Odinga cited what he claims were anomalies in more than 5,000 Form 34As generated at the polling station's level and discrepancies in the results tabulated and declared at the constituency level. In the petition, Odinga claims IABC deliberately schemed to deny him victory and illegally gave President Kenyatta over 1 million votes. He also claimed that an extra 500,000 people participated in the presidential race as opposed to the parliamentary and gubernatorial polls and alleged that there were at least 400 non-gazetted polling stations. The seven Supreme Court judges have exactly 14 days from today to hear and determine the petition. Other than Chief Justice David Maraga, other judges in the Supreme Court are Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu, Judges Isaac Lenaola, Jackton Boma Ojuang, Njoki Ndongo, Smokin Wanjala and Mohamed Ibrahim. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live, at one.